Oh, it's not bad, it's just raining a little bit. Yeah. But the heaters definitely help. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Tuesday, oh. May 2nd. Yes. Day 53. Day that Dimitri gets to leave the house. I think he's like gonna test drive and like pitch to Cindy. Potentially trying to get a, her vote. Yeah. Yeah, because out of the three of them, I feel like she's the best bet to kind of like, you know? Listen at least. Yeah. And like, I had multiple conversations where Cindy says, like, when she's in jury, like, she doesn't like how people are just set on like their mm -hmm. alliance member winning. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, she's like, no, like, you have to kind of like look at the big picture and you need to see like how the other person does and really yeah. open your mind up a little more. So, like, she's yeah. definitely the most open minded, I'd say, out of the three. Because mm -hmm. if you, you know that if Kevin gets to the end, like, Bruno is 100% voting for him. You know? But he's not gonna get to the end, so. No. <laughs> Man, he's just pissing me off. I don't know, and the more, like, the more that this game goes on, like, the more that, like, I really just, like, you I. like him? Yeah. I don't know. Because I disliked him since day one, but I felt like it was because of the whole, he wasn't honest with me. And then I felt like he was using William. And I had a conversation with Aika this morning because I, like, I don't feel like he's using William anymore. And I kind of feel bad that I felt like that. You don't think he is? I don't think he is anymore. I think it, it might be more genuine than I think. I do think, however, that because William is here and is protecting him, he's not going to just be like, OK, I don't want to talk to you. Like, William is the only one right now yeah. that would protect Kevin. And that's going to make emotions even bigger, too, like, regardless if it's for game or not. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, you were there for me. That's a big thing. And honestly, no one here is here for Kevin. Let's be honest. No one here is here. No. Kevin's on the block. Someone wins POV. No one, no one is, is. going to pull Kevin off. No. And he knows that. So maybe it was for game in the beginning. I do think in the beginning he was trying to take advantage. But I think as the game went on and as his alliance member went away... I know he had no choice, but at the same time, I do feel like there's an underlying, like, real emotional connection. I think what kind of hit me the, the wrong way the other day was, like, Karen said to him, like, oh, yeah, like, William's your Peely. Mm. Like, and she just meant, like, William's your, your showman's, you know, like, this season. Because mm -hmm. it is a showman's. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about it. And he was just like... Yeah, no, not the same thing. Yeah. So, like, and he said it right in front of William. And I know, like, William knows that, like, obviously what's between yeah. him and Peely is, like, much more different. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, it was, like, the tone of voice and, like, saying it right in front of him kind of thing. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like, there's a way around doing that, like, yeah. and saying it in a different way, you know? Yeah. Oh! That's the car? I think. Do you think so? Do you think it sounds That's that possible. nice? I wasn't expecting to like, like feel this way towards William, but like, mm -hmm. you know, like, like who knows what could happen? At I least like the, di the difference is not he loves and loved Peely, mm -hmm. whereas right now there's no love between Kevin and William. He just cares about him, just yeah. like I care about William. You know, I care about William. Yeah. So yeah. It might be. I think it would have been more clear if say that like Bruno was still here and like their relationship was different mm -hmm. you know like it was the same as it is now mm -hmm. it just sucks to see that like oh like my f my number one's gone so you're my next choice mm -hmm. kind of thing mm -hmm. and I mean I get you have to do that in this game but like at the same time it's mm -hmm. yeah I told that to Kevin when Bruno was still here because I wanted Bruno out yeah and I said I know he's your number one 
but I want Bruno out, unfortunately. And I, and I was like, are you using, are you using William? Because, you know, I'm not trying to sugarcoat things. I'm like, are you using William? Are you playing him? And he's like, no, I'm not. And I, and he's like, I would do, Kevin said, I would do everything for William. And I'm like, yeah, at this point you would, because you see that Bruno's going to go out the door. You have no other option. So yeah. I'm trying to figure out, are you doing it because you want to, or are you be doing it because you're, that you're kind of like forced yeah into it and he was just kind of like i don't remember what he said exactly but it was kind of like in the line of regardless if bruno's not here william is my number one because i i have no one else which makes sense yeah but i did tell him like you have no option that's why william is your number one it's not necessarily because you would want william to be your number one yeah like you have no choice right now no one else you have no one else legit no no one else bro but yeah. I don't know. In the beginning, I was convinced that he was using William, like, playing him in the sense that he was just trying to, like, play with his feelings and make sure that Williams protects him and, and whatever. Well, think about yeah. it. Like, oh, you weren't here. Last night, like, they were talking about like his relationship with Cindy and everything. Mm -hmm. And like they all used to sit down, like him, Bruno and Cindy, and they would go over every single house guest in the house and they'd be like, how's your relationship with so-and-so? And if someone was just like, I don't really know. And like, this is like, it like makes sense. As soon as Kevin kind of hears something that like is. Which sleeve do I do, this one or this one? Papa <laughs> bien. I prefer this one. So? Yeah. No, no. So? I yeah. prefer this one. Okay. It looks good. Oh, strange. So, um, what was I saying? Until as soon as Kevin saw that. Oh, yeah. It, like, it it's... Because, like, like, Karen brought up how William was, like, a little hurt about how he wasn't defending him um, with the whole kissing thing. How he was just kind of joking around about it mm -hmm. and everything. And Karen brought yeah. that up. Mm -hmm. And um, as soon as he realized, like, oh, I didn't know that, like, William was, like, upset... He was like, I need to go talk to him. I need to go talk to him. So it's like as soon as he hears that, like, someone's pissed off, someone, he's on a bad page with someone, mm -hmm. that's when he's like, oh, shit, like, I need to fix this. Mm -hmm. And it's not just with William. It's, like, with, with anybody. Like, mm -hmm. I remember, like, I forget who it was. But, like, and, like, that's, that's where he's great socially is that yeah. he does have that, like, mentality to make people forget, I guess. I don't know. For a little bit, at least. Mm -hmm. Is that them? And he's all about being a big character too, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to figure out like, I don't know. I want to know what he did because he keeps on, it seems like he feels like he played a great social game, but I just want to know how. Because in my head, he had a lot of bigger targets in front of him. Yeah. Until until he becomes the biggest target. And then yeah. now this is when it's kind of like, yeah. you know. I'm happy that I kind of like see right through it though now. Mm. And I'm not going to let it get by me again. And he likes... I find that he, when I confronted him about certain things that he did or that Bruno did or that he, his team did, he was more like, well, I didn't do it. Like, they're the ones that blah, blah. And I was like. Every single time I'd ask him, he, he would say the same thing. Yeah. Oh, what was I going to say? You know, you were telling me about that um, when William was HOH and how your plan was to do that backdoor kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so you said that I could knew the whole time that the plan was to backdoor Bruno? Bruno, yeah. Okay, because, like, she was definitely trying to put something between me and William then because, like, that, la like, last week when her and I were like, okay, like, mm -hmm. she came and, like, like, we, like, we'd have, like, more game talks, obviously, mm -hmm. and, like, she was explaining that to me 
but she was explaining it in the sense that I actually was the back door and that that's what William's plan was. And she was just like, yeah, like, no, like he was really trying to mend things with like, like Kevin. And that's why he got pissed off with Kevin is because he kept telling, he kept ke telling Kevin, like, use the power of veto. I'm going to put Jackie up, like save your relationship with Emily and Dylan. Like, like that's what's going to happen. Blah, 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 blah. He did say that. That's true. But the plan was to back with Bruno. But that's just it. She, she was just like, but he wanted you out. She never said that it was back door. It was yeah. Bruno. Yeah. And even though I like, I, I like, I kind of knew, but like with her not even like bringing, like even saying that, like it was like her way of like getting me to think, well, at one point William would William, be yeah. out, you know? No. So I'm very glad that you clarified that out because. Yeah. The only know. time that William was kind of mad was the vote thing. That's yeah. the only time. And then afterwards, we were just like, oh, it sucks that Jackie did that, like whatever. And we never mentioned you as a target ever. William can attest, like, I don't even need him to attest to it because I know no, it's yeah. true. We never. Yeah, he, it was always he mentioned like, that. I was, Dre. Please, fix your microphone. I was always trying to get, like, anyways, the big Kevin, target, Bruno, yeah. someone on there. Cindy, unfortunately, because I didn't have a connection with her at that time. Yeah. I would have done Neda if she didn't have the immunity. You know what I mean? Like, I did try to, like, put someone else out there. And I always knew in the back of my head, I always felt like we had the same targets, but we just couldn't. And yeah, I remember work together, kind of. I remember, yeah. Whenever I would talk to William, it was kind of like, "This sucks that we're on different yeah. sides, but yeah. you know, at least, at least we know that we have like this connection at least." Yeah. So, and then I felt, I felt weird because I seen you talking to different people, and I was just like, "I hope you know that whoever you're," and I couldn't tell you this, but how I was seeing it was that whoever you try to like align with or go with mm -hmm. you were at the bottom of whatever alliance you were at yeah and they were very easily going to throw you out not only that on their part it's bad but on your part which i probably already told you but yeah. i'm still gonna say it okay. on your part being mad and going and giving information that sunk you jackie that, i know like, that's like that was my biggest mistake in this game that was your biggest mistake because then people can use that even if what you say is true it has nothing to do with if it is if it's true or not it's more the the action the fact that you're going to the hoh or yeah. whoever and you're spilling information people were like it wasn't I don't know. And I couldn't tell you these things, like, when it was happening. Yeah. And I just felt, like, I felt like if you continued like that... I know. I, it like, just at so that point, I was so convinced that Cassandra had betrayed me in yeah. that sense. I was so convinced that she wasn't on my side at all from everything that I was hearing mm -hmm. and every single person that was telling me that. I was so convinced that I was, like wow, then I, she knows a lot of shit about me mm -hmm. kind of thing mm -hmm. where I was like, like, I don't I don't want to be in this position where like, you know, next week or in a few days from now, like yeah. I'm on the block and all of a sudden something comes up and it's like, well, yeah, you know, yeah. like that's what I was most scared about because I had said shit, even though she was the target. Like you see yeah, how no, things for sure, flip so for much. Sure, for sure. I know, but I, yeah. I shouldn't have done it that fast. I shouldn't have done it when that, that started. Big. Including Neda, Aika, and all of them. Mm -hmm. When they were telling me, by the way, Gary said that you were campaigning. I was like, no, I'm not. They were also saying, and Jackie just spilled all of the tea. I can't believe she did that. And Jackie told us everything about Cassandra. And in my head, I'm thinking, how fast did Jackie just turn on Cassandra? I'm not saying, I don't know if Cassandra did or did not. But what I'm saying is that Neda is not stupid. No, she's not. And she can invent things as well. Things as well. It's just that it's Neda. So maybe you, you don't think that she would lie or she would invent shit. But oh, no, I know. she's not dumb. Oh, she gosh. She is not dumb. She was definitely someone I either wanted to be 100% working with or mm -hmm. getting out as soon as I could. Yeah. I wanted to work with her. And then as soon as the like her saying you campaign for Cassandra or whatever you were like she just yeah, yeah I was like no we're not together we're done that's it yeah and I was just not with her anymore that was it I tried when she had the veto I tried to let her know that I know that she wasn't going to use it on me obviously but I wanted to let her know that I wasn't part of anything like that mm -hmm. and I felt like she had a pool or she had people valued her what she had to say in her group so i felt like if she knew that at least maybe she could influence that but afterwards i had nothing to tell netta we did not speak no one word her and i after cassandra left that was it netta and i never said anything how's your how's your breakfast how's your kd that's it goodbye thanks
Yeah. Never Jackie. That was it. That was it. I was done with her. Yeah, that was like me the first few until until that HOH and like even during that HOH it wasn't until after um the the house noms that like we just started talking kind of thing. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I just thought, I felt like she had a great advantage coming in just being Neta, mm -hmm. but then she got the immunity and I felt like she was ungrateful. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, no, bye. I was not having it. But yeah, I just felt, uh I'm not going to say I regret anything because, you know, it's not even finished and we can't regret anything. But at the same time, I just felt like since the beginning, if we had just, that's the thing that is hard is that, as I was telling you, what I wanted was to find people that I could trust. And then regardless of what I hear that they said or they did or whatever, yeah. I knew that I could trust them. Yeah. And I felt like I never had that. And I feel like if ever we could have, if we had known that we can just trust each other and not give two cents about whatever anyone happens, else anyone else says, if someone comes to you and says, Dre said that, or if someone comes to me and says, Jackie said that, if we could be like pretending to them but not to each other, yeah. it would have been like, I know. It would have been good. Ugh. It would have been good. But it's hard in this game because even me, I think. And it was, it's still so early too. Yeah. At that point, it was yeah, still it was very so early. Yeah, so early. It, it's hard to put your trust in someone that you just met. Yeah. And I feel like that's what this experiment Yeah, like if that hadn't about. happened that week, and we had one more week to build on shit, like, yeah. it would have been solid as yeah. hell. Yeah. Because, like, that's, like, like I said, that's all I wanted mm. was the same thing that you did. Yeah. It was just, like, one or two people put all my trust in yeah. and everything obviously have like a big number at first that like you know we can fall back on mm -hmm. but like still out of that group like yeah yeah and i feel like people would have underestimated us which would have been great i wanted people to underestimate us you know if it was william you me we would, we would be have the been underdogs so, we would have been would be so like, underestimated it would have yeah. been great it would have been just perfect yeah it's i mean as shitty as it is, it's still cool that the three of us are still here. Yeah, I, definitely. You know, and like week eight. Yeah. 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 Like it's crazy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's crazy. But yeah, now I just feel like. Do you think if Kevin was out of the picture, that maybe the three of us could get back into something? At least till oh, yeah. a certain point. I do think so. Yeah. Yeah, because then I feel like William would have, wouldn't have that, like, he wouldn't feel like he needs to protect Kevin. He would feel like he needs to protect us, mm -hmm. which is different. And then each of us know that we always have two votes. Yeah. So that would have been great. Because that's, like, that's a huge thing at this far into the game, and that's yeah. why, like, people need to realize, like, you keep Ike and Dimitri around, that is two solid votes. Next week, you need three again. Yeah. Yeah. Or, like, next week you need three, but it could be a potential, like, HOH decides the final one, yeah. you know? Like, if, if they 100% don't want someone out next week, like, they have their two votes, people can vote the other way, and you know how yeah. good they are convincing whoever's HOH. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Whereas, next week, if I stay, hopefully one of us wins HOH. Yeah. You know, two solid votes. Hopefully me and you. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it's someone else wins. Puts Kevin on the block. Me and you vote Kevin out. Oh. The HOH wants Glow, Kevin out. Glow. William votes. I just want to care out. what the HOH wants. In all honesty, Jackie, I cannot. I cannot care what the HOH wants. No. At this point in the game, we can. Because before, I feel like we needed to build loyalty and we need to respect the person so that if they are not HOH, they know that we respected them. Blah blah. We're gonna be seven. I know. And we're gonna have to keep going like against like, each other. The HOH has no say. You put two people on the block, the house decides. What Kevin is doing right now is not like it's actually it sucks that he's doing it. But the fact that he's like, I'm not the one voting, the house decides, that's basically what we're all gonna do. Yeah. When you're gonna be HOH, you put two people up, you're not really deciding who want like you 
I mean, you can put in work to make sure that the, your target goes home. But what I'm yeah. saying is that the, the power is in the hands of the people, exactly. not in your hands. So. And you're putting two people up that, you know, it, it's better for your game if either of them goes. Yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. You're not, it's not early where you're putting one target in and one pawn and blah, blah. I feel like it doesn't, right now we're too close to the end. Like, you're going to put people that you want to see go, basically. Yeah. I still don't know how this week is going to turn because I feel like I have no... I don't have a good read. Dylan is telling me something. He's like, I'm still thinking about it. William's still thinking about it. I know, I need... I, I don't talk to Karen. Karen's voting, I got out. Well, at least that's yeah. what she's told me. She's so weird because yesterday when you left, she came here and she was like, I don't like how Jackie's playing. She flip-flop floater veils, blah, blah. Which is funny when she says that, so I laugh. <laughs> but yeah. I'm like... Are you telling me this because that you want... Like, are you trying to pass information to me? Like, are you trying to make it so that I feel like you're not voting Aika out so that I can... Yeah. Like, are you to trying you? to do something? Because in all honesty, it's not working. No. Like, if she goes, she goes. If she stays, she stays. That's it. Like... Yep. I just don't like the feeling of, like... I don't know why Karen... I don't know. I don't like Karen. I don't like her. I don't want to win HOH ever, and I don't want her to go far. I don't, Jackie, I don't. Like, no, it's... I don't. Same. Can't pull the the 53-year-old card all the time. You can't. No, you can't. Can't talk left and right, left and right, and then in front of your face, you, like, no. No. I just don't. But I've been saying that for weeks. <laughs> I feel like I've been saying that, like, my targets have stayed the same. I've been saying the same thing. But they're slowly week. going out. Yeah. And it's slowly happening. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is that right now, no one would vote Karen out. So she's yeah, because there's too many big good. targets. Yeah. No one's going to vote Karen out. Yeah, Which is I great for her. And she did play a good game of putting doubt in people's mind. Yeah, for sure. It just worked for some people, it didn't work for others, that's it. I really need to talk to Dylan. Yeah. 